Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be unboxing G Idol's new mini album, I Burn. I do have all three copies here. So this is the winter version, the flower version, and the fire version. I think that's the order that they go in. That's the order they're on in K-Town for you. But um, honestly, I don't really know. <laughs> I feel like this one's first though. So um, I did order these from K-Town for you. So I do have the pre-order cards. So I obviously saw who I have already because when I opened the box, they were literally just like in there. They weren't even in the bubble wrap with the albums. They were just thrown in the box. So um, they did make it unscathed, but I was like, um, hello. <laughs> Anyways, so we will go through these. So um, like I said, I already know who I have, but uh, we will go through them together. I really wanted Minnie's card and Sujin's card before we start. Those were the cards that I wanted. So for the first one, I got Neon's card. These are very thin. They are like typical K-Town for you pre-order cards. But this is Neon's card. Looks like that. And then next up we have... All right, and then the next card we have is Minnie's card. And like I said, I really wanted this card because she looks so pretty in it. So I am absolutely delighted to have this. I mean, I would have been happy with any of them because I love all of these cards, but I was really excited <laughs> to get Minnie's. And then for the last card, this tape is really like, it's hard to open these things. I'm scared to bend the cards. <laughs> um, for the last card, I pulled Oogie. So um, I go back and forth between who my G Idol bias is, but I feel like this era, it's Oogie. So I'm um, very, very pleased to have this. I don't really pull her that often. So anyways, that was who I got for my pre-order cards. I am two for two with K-Town for You pre-orders for Neon. So very happy. I love it when um, idols love me and I am in a curse. I actually have a mini curse as well. So um, Neon and mini, I pull often. <laughs> anyway, so that's what the backs look like as well. So with that, we will get into the unboxing. We will do the winter version first. Okay, so I have the winter version here. So this is what the outside looks like. It is a slip case. And then there's the side. It just says, I burn. And then the back, it just has the idol logo and then the track list. And this side has nothing. <laughs> so I think this is the same size as, um, what was the other one called? I trust. I think it's the same size, but the packaging is a little less annoying if you have those albums you know like the packaging was kind of weird but um anyway so it does have the photo book and then everything is in here so we will go through the photo book first okay so this is what the photo book looks like there's nothing like on the sides or anything it just says i burn on the front i don't know if you guys can see that and then when we open it i have not seen anybody unbox this um i've been waiting because i didn't want to see what the photo cards looked like so I did see the K-Town for You ones, but not the album ones. Oh my God, they look so pretty. I really like this white concept. They did a white concept for um, I Trust as well. Oh, Mian looks so good. Also, what do you guys think of Hua? I personally am obsessed with this song, <laughs> like literally obsessed with it. I have not stopped listening to it. I've looped it a lot, which I know you shouldn't do, but it's just that good, you guys. Like I, I can't stop myself. Um, I, yeah, I love Hua. Um, I know a lot of people like didn't love it. Like they said it had kind of like a, I don't know, like an empty chorus, I guess. Um, but for me, that's like the type of song that I like. Like, I don't know what you would call like the type of song that it was. I call them like fresh songs, if that makes any sense at all. So songs like Hua or um, a song written easily by One Us or Flower by Icon, like those songs that are like really softer kind of. Um, I don't know, that's my favorite type of song. <laughs> so 
for me, like, this was the perfect comeback. Like, this comeback was made for me. It's one of my favorite G-Idol songs now. Um, but I get where people are coming from, I guess. Oh, there's an ad in here for that universe app. Um, I already actually signed up for universe, but I guess I could, I think you like do this QR code and you get something. I don't really know. Anyways, I did not realize that was in there. And now I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh my God, Sujin looks so beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely, like, picked Sujin as my bias during Dum Dee Dum Dee because, like, she bias wrecked me so hard. I was just like, I'm a Sujin bias now. Um, and I think, who was my bias before that? I think it was Ugi or Shuhua. I don't remember. <laughs> um, but this era, my bias is Ugi. I feel like with G-Idol, I just, like, pick a bias every era. <laughs> uh, I love Soyeon's hair. I also really liked Soyeon's wrap this time around. I thought it was really beautiful. I really like this concept. It's very, like, wedding-y, I guess. <laughs> also, I love Oogie's hair. Oh my god, this was the teaser photo, and everyone was like, she looks like a doll, which she does. She's so pretty. Oh my god, these photos are beautiful. Did I already say that flower version was my favorite version? If not, flower version is my favorite version. Um, but I do really like this photo book. Also, my favorite b-sides on this album are definitely Dahlia and Lost. I feel like Dahlia could be a title track. Like, it has title track vibes to me. I also really like Lost. Oh my god, she's so pretty. And I also love Shuho's part in Hua. Like, her part is my favorite part. If I could pick a part to have, it would be hers. <laughs> and then the group shots. Oh, they're so beautiful. And, oh my, we missed the page. The pages are actually so thick. Like, the paper is really, really good quality. And that was it for the photo book. So now we can go through the random inclusions. So everything is just like in here, I'm pretty sure, because this is like the folder thing that they had for I Trust, and everything was literally just like thrown in. So we will take everything out and then I'll like try not to show everything. Um, and then I'll move it off screen. <laughs> the first thing in there is just the disc. So this is what the disc looks like for the winter version. Um, just like I trust the disc is literally just in here. There's no like um, protective cover or anything, <laughs> which I thought was the weirdest thing for I trust. And to see that they did it again, I was like, really? Like of all of the packaging things to repeat, you repeat that? <laughs> I don't know. It was weird, but um, yes, that's the disc. And then you do get a cube ad. We do not care about the cube ad, but, but it is in there. Now this, I assume, is the lyrics, and I don't think it's random. I don't really know. What is happening here? Okay, I think it just is like a fold-up thing. So yeah, and it is the track list. So we have all the tracks. Um, there's nothing super exciting about this so um I won't spend much time on it but I don't really know how to show this <laughs> it's kind of an awkward size I do also get a poster and I am almost positive it is random member and if you cannot tell by the hair I obviously pulled soy on so <laughs> let me do my best to unfold this so I hope you guys can at least partially see this so um I don't think I have enough room to put it this way I mean you can probably see most of it this way but there is her poster she looks gorgeous as always but you do get a little I don't know if it's stickers or tattoos I think it's stickers um this little sticker sheet um and as you can see I pulled minis so that does not surprise me as I mentioned I have a bit of a mini curse <laughs> So, um, yes, but I am really happy with these. I don't know what the other ones look like, but um, I really like the flower and stuff. So, 
very cute and the next thing you get is a postcard and for this i pulled Mion. very cute oh my gosh okay i have been pulling Mion so much lately i pulled her k-town for you card this time i pulled her k-town for you last time and an album card for her last time and now i've pulled um i don't know what this is postcard her postcard thing this time so um very nice though she looks absolutely gorgeous I do get two photo cards but i don't know one of them's not actually a photo card so this is oh my <laughs> this is what it looks like so it's i don't know like they're i guess they're all their songs um and a drawing so it is random member um, and I do have minis. And the last thing you get is the photo card. And for this one, I pulled <gasps> Shuha. Okay, this is actually really exciting because I don't pull her that often. I did pull her in Dumdi Dumdi, but I had never pulled her before that. So I'm very, very happy to have this. And the backs of these cards are actually so beautiful. So I would love to collect the full set for these. Um, I actually might, we'll see, but yeah, there's Shuha. So that was it for the winter version of the album. And so now we can move on to the flower version. So next we have the flower version. I love this version. I think it's absolutely beautiful. There's the side of it and the back. So we will open it up and go through the photo book. So here is the photo book and we will flip through it. As I mentioned, this is my favorite concept. So, oh my gosh, I forgot to take that out. <laughs> um, I'm very excited to flip through this. I am obsessed with this concept. I think it is so beautiful and they look gorgeous too. Oh my God, I love her eye makeup. Oh, she's so pretty. I'm actually so excited because Mion is in a K-drama. I think it comes out in a few days actually. It's called Replay. Um, you guys should really check it out. And also there's a campaign to try and get it on Netflix. I saw on Nevi Twitter the other day, um, which I would love. So <laughs> um, definitely signed that. And hopefully it is on Netflix because that would make it much easier to watch it. I, oh, she looks so good. Oh my gosh, I love her eye makeup. They look so beautiful in this concept. Like this whole concept is just amazing to me. I love flowers. Like flowers are my favorite thing in the whole world. I feel like I mentioned this um, when I unboxed Twice's Eyes Wide Open. I said that the flowery one for that album was my favorite as well. Oh my God, Sujin, she's so pretty. I loved the teaser photos where she had like the butterflies in her hair. There wasn't really like a ton of that in the actual music video, but speaking of the music video, I freaking loved the Hua music video. It was so beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. I love her, um, her blush. Yeah, anyways, I loved, um, I loved the music video. I thought it was so pretty. And there's a lot of like theories like that it connects to Han, um, that era. So I don't know. I'm, I've never been much for theories. Like I'm not one of those people who can do <laughs> theories. <laughs> like if people say stuff and I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. But like, I could never come up with anything like that on my own. So, okay. Oogie looks so good. I love this hair on her. I wish she could keep it forever. I know she won't, but <laughs> this is definitely my favorite era for her. Like, I just love her hair so much. I really think it's her era. I mean, it's all of their eras because all of them are amazing, but I just think she looks so pretty. So does Shuhua. I love that eye makeup technique. I've been seeing it a lot recently. Um, Chewy had it in the Eyes Wide Open album in one of the concepts. And actually Huanung from One Us on his Halloween costume, he did his eye makeup like that. Oh my god, they look so pretty! This reminds me of like Crazy Rich Asians, like that movie. I don't know, like the costume design in that movie. It reminds me of it. 
I also, they've, um, they wore these outfits, I think, already. Um, oh my. Um, for a stage, and they, like, cropped their dresses and stuff to make them, like, more stage outfitty, and they looked so pretty, so. Or maybe that was the music video. Honestly, I don't really remember now. <laughs> but there is the end. And so now we can go through the random inclusions. Okay, so we will take everything out once again. So the first thing is this. Um, this was not in the other one, so I don't know if it was supposed to be and I like didn't get it or if this is just like a random um, thing for this version, but it just has all of the members. Um, is mine like scratched? It definitely is. Um, that's okay. Like I'll honestly just put this in my binder, so it's fine, but yes. This, I don't know what this is. I don't know what you would call this, like a giant postcard, I guess, but they look beautiful, so I'm happy to have this. <laughs> okay, next is the lyric paper. This one is so pretty. And I don't really know how to show this, so I'm sorry. <laughs> it is like super awkward, but there we go. And then the credits, and yes. Then we have the cube add again if you guys want to scan this code go for it i'm not a u cube member so and i realized i didn't show the disc first so this is what the disc looks like for this version the discs are pretty plain but that is a-okay okay and then we do have the random poster and i can see who i pulled and i pulled Uzi. i'm so freaking excited you guys oh my god she looks beautiful i'm gonna try not to do her dirty with like the folds <laughs> but she looks so pretty. I'm so happy that I got her poster. I would like scream if I got her photo card as well, but um, I don't think my Oogie look is that good, but yeah, I'm so happy to have her poster. I honestly would love to hang this, but I don't hang posters, but if I did, I would definitely hang this one. And then we do have the little tattoo, or no, stickers, I guess. Set. Um, I don't know what member this is. Yeah, it may be Mion. I'm not sure. So if anybody knows, let me know. But I'm going to guess that it's Mion's. Um, yeah, so that is what this looks like. We do have a postcard again. So I think this is the same as the last one. Like the backs are the same. Oh, the backs are not the same. But there's just like the difference of the little thing in the corner. Um, so for this one, I pulled, oh, there is not a member on it. <laughs> it's just a drawing. Um, and I have no idea whose this is. So yeah, um, if anybody knows, let me know. <laughs> but I pulled this. And we get into the photo cards, so for that, like, drawing photo card i have this one it says lion on it and it is soyons so there is that and that's what the back looks like and then for my photo card i pulled <gasps> oh my god i pulled the oogie card you guys i am losing my mind this is one of the only cards that i had like seen previously and i was like I need that Oogie card. She is in that outfit that I absolutely love. She has her hair like that and I need it in my life and I actually was prepared to buy it. So now I don't have to. I am actually over the freaking moon. Look at the back of these cards. They are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and Oogie, of course, is beautiful. I'm so happy that I pulled this. You guys have no idea how happy I am right now. So that was everything for the flower version. So we will move on now to the fire version. Okay, so we can flip through this. Ooh, I actually haven't seen the photo book for this one, or I like, I haven't seen the photo book for any of them, but for the other ones, I like at least knew what the concepts were like. This one I kind of had forgotten what the um, concept was. That does not even look like Mion, but she looks so pretty. Oh, I love her dress. Um, yeah, I had like totally forgotten what the um, teaser photos for this concept looked like. And so when I got the photo books, I was like, oh my God, I forgot to take this out again. <laughs> um, 
yeah when i got the photo books i was like i definitely know what the flower one looks like i feel like i know what the winter looks one looks like but i do not remember what the fire one was <laughs> um but this is it it's all coming back to me now so i would definitely say this is probably my least favorite out of all of them just because like i don't love the editing on the photos like most of them are blurry or like have a really weird filter on them but um it's still beautiful and it's still g idol and they are my female alt group okay sorry you guys my camera like totally died there so apologies or i guess not my camera but my cell phone um again no idea what i was talking about <laughs> um but yes so we now have sujin she is so beautiful oh i love her so much She's like so perfect. <laughs> and she was the, um, was it Studio Choom? Like person of the month or like idol of the month. So we got some like dances from her, some solo dances, um, beautiful or a solo dance. I don't remember if there was multiple. Um, but yes, then we have Soyeon. I love her dress. It's very pretty. I don't love this photo book. I feel like I already said that. I don't know if I said that now or if I just had thought that before my camera shut off. Um, I just feel like the filters are kind of weird, but I still love it. And then we have the Oogie under like the veil. I think this is the only concept that wasn't in the music video at all, right? Or was it? Now I have no idea, <laughs> but it would be nice if they like, um, if they could use these outfits like cut the dresses a little shorter i mean like i don't think they need to cut the dresses shorter like but it's probably hard to dance in such long dresses um but yes then we have shuhua i really like her dress i actually really like these photos of shuhua she is so beautiful they're all so beautiful I don't know why I say that every time. Like, they're all beautiful. And then... These pages are so thick, it's actually, like, kind of hard to turn them. And we have the group shots. I love these group shots. I think these are my favorite group shots out of all of them. And then all of them under the veil. I feel like they probably had, like, such a blast filming under that thing like they probably were like making fun of each other just knowing g idol as people and that was the photo book so we will now go through the random inclusions we will take everything out so first of course the cube ad we do not care <laughs> and then this is what the disc looks like it is just like burning things i guess and then we have the lyrics paper again not sure how to show this effectively but there it is on the back this looks like that that's the front <laughs> and then for my poster i can't actually tell who it is just from that is it oh it's soyan because um you can see her dress that she had in the photos. So I did pull Soyeon twice for the posters. Absolutely not mad because I don't pull her that often. I actually, funny fact, have never pulled Sujin ever. So she's the only G-Idol member left that I've never pulled. But um, yes, there is Soyeon. And then for my random inclusions, I guess the poster was a random inclusion, but for the stickers, I pulled these ones again. So I think this is Mion again, though, I have no idea. So anyways, if you know who these are, let me know. Um, I don't think I'll trade these because I honestly don't really care, but there is these. And then we have the postcard. Is it horizontal? I guess. Um, for this one, I pulled... Who is this? Oh, Minnie, because you can see her hair. So I pulled Minnie's postcard. This reminds me like not to bring one us into everything like I always do, but <laughs> it reminds me of the In It's Time postcards where you could like just see their hands. Um, I do not want to ever think about collecting hand postcards again. So anybody who ends up collecting OT6 for these, I feel your pain. 
<laughs> but I have minis. For my photo cards, I did pull this Latata one again. This is minis. Um, I don't know if I will trade this. I guess I'll see on Instagram, like in the G Idol trade hashtag, like how many people are trading these. If I can find a trade easily, I will. But if not, I'm like not super choked about it, but we'll see. So there's that. Very last inclusion for my photo card, I pulled Soyan. Oh my gosh, she looks so pretty. I really love her dress. So I'm um, very, very happy to have this. So there she is. And yeah. All right, you guys, that was everything for my unboxing of G Idol's fourth mini album, I Burn. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!